Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to download and deploy the Extreme Network's Extreme Cloud Appliance Virtual Appliance. In this video, we are going to cover how to deploy an Extreme Cloud Appliance image file to an ESXi server and run the initial configuration wizard. The virtual appliance has the following prerequisites. An administrator account on an ESXi server. The VE6125 requires a VMware Enterprise license. The virtual appliance is configured with one Ethernet interface for administration and two data plane Ethernet interfaces for forwarding payload traffic. If all three interfaces are used, we recommend connecting them to separate virtual switches in the host server. Make sure the server meets the minimum requirements for the virtual appliance model. Extreme Cloud Appliance offers the VE6120 virtual appliance in three sizes and a separate VE6125 virtual appliance for extra large deployments. The VE6120 and VE6125 appliance models have separate OVA files. We offer several configuration options. Small reflects the default configuration. You can configure for higher resource requirements and the Extreme Cloud Appliance capacity will automatically adjust. Our new VE6125 is the largest offering. Once you have downloaded the OVA file, log in to VMware. We are deploying an OVA file format which is compatible with the OVF template option. From the navigator pane, right click the host machine and select Deploy OVF Template. You can select a source URL or click Browse to select the OVA file that you just downloaded and click Next. On the Name and Location screen, enter a name for the virtual appliance and click Next. From the Select a Resource page, we will select our host machine Click Next. Verify the template details. You can click back to modify any of the previous settings. When you are satisfied, click Next. On the Select Storage screen, select one of the Thick Provisioned formats. Thick Provisioned format allocates storage immediately. Map the virtual appliance ports to the virtual networks that are deployed on the host server. For each source network, select a corresponding destination network. The VM network is the management port and there are two data plane ports. Click Next. The Ready to Complete screen displays a summary of your selections. Review each setting. You can click Back to make changes. A progress bar under Recent Tasks reports deployment progress. The completed icon indicates a successful deployment. Now that we have deployed the OVA file, we can log into the appliance. From the client tree, expand the host node and select Power, Power On. The green icon indicates that the appliance is on. Once the appliance is up and running, right click the appliance and select Open Console. Click Send, Control, Alt, Delete to activate the console window. Click it again to focus outside the console window. Log into the appliance. The default username is admin. The default password is ABC123. These values are case sensitive. Extreme Cloud Appliance offers a configuration wizard. The configuration wizard prompts you with a set of yes or no questions. The default value is indicated in brackets. To accept the default value, simply press enter. We do recommend setting the admin password. The password must be 8 to 24 characters. No special or blank characters. Today, we decide to keep the default admin ID and password. Reset the AP Access password. The AP Access password must be 5 to 30 alphanumeric and can include period dash underscore and space. Your current data port settings display. Set the IP address for the appliance. Accept the default values for NetMask, VLAN ID, we will not tag frames, 
but we will enable management and device registration. These are your updated data port settings. Press enter to accept. Press enter to update the host attribute settings. Here we're going to accept the default host name. Then press enter to decline out of band management on the admin port. We will press enter for the default domain name. You can update later with appropriate values. Now enter the IP address of your primary DNS server. Press enter for no secondary DNS server. These are your updated host attribute settings. Press enter to accept. Enter the IP address of the global default gateway. The global default gateway can be on any admin or data port subnet. Press enter to accept. Change network time. Press enter to update your network time settings and your time zone. When setting the network time settings, enter a number that corresponds to the continent. I will enter two for America. Then enter a number that corresponds to the region. You can enter N to move up the list or P to move down the list. I will enter 101 for New York in the Eastern Time Zone. Press Enter to run NTP as a client, then provide the client address. We are entering N for no second NTP server. These are your updated network time protocol settings. Press Enter to accept. The configuration menu displays. To revisit any of the listed configuration areas or to exit with or without applying the configuration, enter the corresponding number or letter. When you re revisit any area, you will have to reconfigure all subsequent area settings. For example, if you decide to reconfigure the admin password, which is at the beginning of the configuration wizard, you will have to reconfigure all the configuration wizard settings. Press enter to save and exit the wizard. When installing Extreme Cloud Appliance, you must upgrade the software to the latest patch release. Go to the Extreme Network support site and download the most recent software patch. The VE6120 appliance uses a DLE upgrade file. The VE6125 appliance uses an RSE upgrade file. Log into the virtual appliance using the admin user ID and password that you just configured. Go to Administration, System, Software Upgrade. Scroll down to the Upgrade pane. Click the plus sign next to the Select Image field. Drag and drop the latest image file onto the appliance. The Upload dialog will close automatically when the upload is complete. Select the file from the Select Image field. Back up to the local machine, then select Upgrade Now. Confirm the upgrade image and the backup location. Select Upgrade. When the upgrade is successful, select Close. This concludes the how-to video on how to deploy and configure the Extreme Cloud Appliance Virtual Appliance. For more information, see the online help or go to Extreme Networks documentation portal at extremenetworks.com slash documentation slash extreme cloud appliance.